Right now, CSGO gambling is one of the hottest topics on YouTube, YouTube news sources, and just YouTube CSGO players right now. And I want to give you guys my opinions on the whole thing and also tell you how I do gambling. Hey guys, Bone here. And today I want to kind of talk about this big issue that's been going on CSGO gambling wise where everyone's like on the bandwagon of hate towards CSGO gambling sites because oh they've been promoting underage gambling. Now yes what they have been doing is technically underage gambling but on a legal standpoint barely. Kind of legal, kind of not. They've been using a loophole in the system where they're using CSGO skins as a digital currency instead of actual real world dollars requiring it at that point to be actually being 18 instead you can just say oh well CSGO skins they do sell for real money but you have to have a PayPal account or Bitcoin or whatever and what they've been doing is technically illegal but it's also completely legal at the same time like it's kind of a point of morals at this point and please disregard the shitty CSGO gameplay in the background. I am just relaxing tonight. I've been playing some of The Last of Us, and I didn't want to show you guys The Last of Us gameplay for a CSGO gambling video. Anyway, so my personal views on it is if you're 18, power to you. You are legally able to gamble in the U.S. at least. I don't know ages all over the world. I know... Some countries are younger, some countries are older, some countries don't even allow gambling. But the point I'm getting at is that if you're 18, power to you. You can watch porn, you can vote, you can buy tobacco, you can't drink legally yet, yet 90% of us do. And, um, so I think you should be able to gamble. But these sites that don't have any va age verification thing... Like, 90% of the people who are on Steam will say, yes, I am 18 in order to get a game they want. Now, are they 18? Chances are probably a negative on that. Why? Because, really, Steam's age system is kind of a fucking joke at this point. If you put in your real age, you just have to reset your browser history or cookies or whatever, I don't even know. And you end up getting it again and you can just reset your age and set it to be 18 and so that kind of goes on the fact that well why are these sites not doing something as simple and bullshit as that to cover their ass because they realize I don't by the way I don't use the M4A1S anymore but by the way so they don't um do it because I guess they're just too lazy to be honest it's an, an easy fail safe where you can just successfully do it that way and pretty much cover your ass in most situations and saying oh well you have to have a PayPal pretty much everyone and their dog has a PayPal including 13 year olds to donate to Minecraft servers and donate to fucking Twitch streamers that they like so they get noticed and they get their little tiny egos pushed up a bit now, I've donated to Twitch streamers before because I respect them and I think they deserve a nice tip. I've been subscribed to Twitch streamers before and I think they deserve the donations and subscriptions I've given them. Now, let's go on to the next topic of should streamers be required or YouTubers be required to say that they own a part of the gambling website, let's say. Um, well, legally, they are obligated to say that because... Who's going to talk shit on their own fucking YouTube or their gambling site? I mean, nobody, because they want their site to look good. But the reason they should do this is because it, at this point, goes to an, an issue of... Um, I forget the term, but basically, they have a conflict of interests. Do they make their video serious? Or do they make it honest like do they make it super crazy with probably fixed bets or possible fixed bets or do they have it be okay this is what actually happens and um yeah you lose a lot the house always wins in gambling even counting cards the 
I don't, actually, I, I'm gonna eat my words on that. Probably they actually lose money on that. And that's why they don't like people who count cards. But the point I'm getting at is the fact that if you bet in CSGO, you should be of legal age. And if you're doing what your favorite streamer does to bet and you find out that he owns part of the website, I think you honestly should be feeling betrayed and also he should be legally prosecuted because he did not disclose he was an owner of the website. Now, why is this such an issue now? Well, because more and more little kids have been gambling mommy and daddy's credit card away and it ends up becoming a parent with $1,200 of debt on their credit card due to their kids stealing their credit card. Yes, you should have been supervising your kid and watching your credit card more ac often, but it also is the gambling site's fault for not having a failsafe to prove that you're 18. Now, I guarantee so many people have Steam accounts. Like, there are millions of Steam accounts out there. And I would take a reasonable guess and say that most of them are registered as 18, even if you are not 18. And that is just really Valve's only failsafe they have saying, well, they claim they're 18, we're not going to go to their house and check their license. Now, if you do enough trading on the Steam market, you do have to put your secu social security number in. But that's a little bit different. It's due to mainly having a large amount of money going through your Steam account, so they want to check that you're not some criminal, you're not out of US or whatever. I don't even know, but I remember having to do that last year because I actually traded or sold a couple thousand dollars worth of items on the Steam market, mainly due to CSGO gambling, winning, and other stuff before I really got into using OP skins more. I usually used the Steam market as a way to Get a little bit extra money for Steam games. So, if you don't know, OP skins, you sell it for less on there. And, um, if you sell it on the Steam market, you sell it for a higher price. Because, really, that's regulated a little bit differently and not pushed to sell at the lowest possible price. Now, my personal views on gambling. Let's go into that real quick before I wrap this up. I gamble quite a bit on CSGO gambling sites. Will I ever take a gambling sponsorship? Probably not. I have posted a tweet in the past saying that I will never post a gambling video because that is honestly dishonest because you're not gambling your real money generally. It's, yeah, it's a way to get subscribers to um, get giveaway items, but honestly, it's pretty it's fucking stupid to be honest. Sponsorships are a way for them to, like the websites, to get you to um, get inspired by your team or by your favorite YouTubers, and then you end up losing a fuck ton of money. So, yes, if you're 18, you can gamble. That's my personal view. If you disagree, power to you. Should underage people be able to gamble? No. Should there be some kind of age verification thing in there? Yes. Do I think that these guys currently on the chopping block with lawsuits and possible jail time who did not disclose that they own the gambling website should face jail time? Possibly, because they possibly could have cheated their fans out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. People don't take this into the correct perspective many times. They think, oh, well, I'm a the YouTubers maybe gained a few thousand dollars off these lies and maybe some mad fans but no there was a website that started up that was csgo gambling that actually posted a screenshot of their op skins cash out recently they have cashed out over one hundred thousand dollars of skins in one week of gambling and that's why casinos are so effective they make so much money because they always win on a ten thousand dollar pot the house keeps $1,000. They keep a 10% um, share of all pots taken. Now, if it's a one item in a coin flip duel, so you both bet the same knife, house doesn't generally get anything, I think, but they might. It's really... I don't, I don't pay attention to that much because I usually gamble in multi-thing pots, but 
I basically pay a lot of bills by gambling on CSGO gambling sites, and I find it to be acceptable because I know when to stop. Little kids, they don't. And that's the issue that it goes into at this point, where the kids don't know where to stop. They gamble $100 away, and they're like, oh, well, I'm just going to win big in that 1% chance that they see their YouTubers win. And it could be that the YouTubers have a higher chance. Now, recently I did um, send Nick Bunyan a tweet saying that, do you own a part of CSGO Lotto? He didn't respond, and when I tweeted to Keemstar about this, because he asked, um, do you think any other streamers are being dishonest? Nick Bunyan said he owns part of Valve, basically joking around saying, haha, he doesn't own it. So, no hate to him, I've been watching his videos for years, and they are just overall enjoyable, so no hate to him. But, the guys who are currently on the chopping block, it's not that good a thing to have going for your name right now. So, they're probably going to be put into silence right now because there's so many lawsuits going at them. They don't really want to screw themselves in court. So, they're probably just going to keep their arguments for court. And we'll find out when these lawsuits go up into the bigger courts where we find out an actual verdict. Did they break the law? Because... They did not disclose that they owned these things. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's kind of a rant. I am realizing this after I've basically recorded the whole fucking thing. And I need to record more gameplay because I'm a lazy motherfucker and only record one game. So anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. And I'm currently doing a giveaway. If you are interested, please look down in the description for a link. It is for an M4A1S Hyperbeast and an AK-47 Stat Track Elite Build Factory or Minimal Wear, and it has a bunch of good stickers on it. So anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, please drop a like, and if you did not for some odd reason, please drop a dislike, and how about you subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.